channel. I am so glad to see you today. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're an OG and you've been rocking with me for a while, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. So today's video is going to be all about plants. I recently did a nutrition talk and that talk was an all about the plants nutrition talk. So this video is a recap of some of the stuff that we spoke about in that nutrition event. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, I'm going to talk about a few simple ways in which you can incorporate plants into your diet. The first one is adding plants into smoothies and juices. This is a really great tip, especially if you're someone who doesn't like the taste of certain vegetables. Adding them into smoothies and juices is something that makes adding vegetables into something a breeze. So you definitely want to hop on that because when you're adding it into a smoothie or juice, you're able to mask the flavor of vegetables that you don't really like so much. You can also add veggies into soups, into salads, into dips. Um, you can have veggies as a snack. You can have veggies as a side dish. You can also incorporate your veggies into grains. Something that I personally like to do is adding in bell peppers, onions, broccoli into quinoa or another grain like brown rice or pasta to just make it veggie packed and also enhance the flavor and the taste. You can have your cake and eat it too. You're getting that good pasta, getting that brown rice, but you're adding additional vitamins and minerals to your life by adding those things in to your grains. So that's one of my favorite things to do. Now we're gonna hop into how to pick vegetables and fruits. So when you're picking out vegetables and fruits, you always wanna make sure that you're picking out vegetables and fruits that are very vibrant in color. Sometimes I go to the supermarket and I see vegetables and fruits that look a little dull. You know, nobody wants donuts in their life. So stick to the bright and colorful veggies. Another thing you wanna do when you're picking out vegetables and fruits is to buy in season. When you're buying vegetables and fruits in season, the vegetables and fruit is usually priced at a lower price and they're also at the height of its ripeness. So it's a win-win situation all around. So definitely make sure you just go to Google, you can type in fruits and vegetables in the fall or in the winter, or you can even specify it to the month, fruits and vegetables for the month of September. And it will show up and give you a whole nice list of vegetables that you should be eating um, within that month if you really are looking for vegetables that are around in that time. This might be a no-brainer, but wash your fruits and vegetables. It one more time for the people in the back. Wash your fruits and vegetables. Come on, y'all. Be honest. Some people, you may, it may slip your mind or maybe you're oppressed for time and you're just like, mm -hmm. no, you need to wash them things. Wash your fruit and wash your vegetables. <laughs> you also want to give your produce a light squeeze. So when I'm mentioning this, I'm mentioning um, fruits like apples and pears and avocados. You want to give it a light squeeze, especially those kinds of fruits, because when they're super soft, that means that they are not good and you do not want to get those fruits. Fresh is always better, but if you need to use canned vegetables because you're pressed for time or that's the only thing that you have available, it is completely okay. It is still healthy. It is still good for you. But when you're buying these canned vegetables, I want you to look at the back of that can. I want you to look at the ingredients and I also want you to look at the amount of sodium and the amount of sugar that is contained within that product because some companies are like literally wowing out when it comes to this. Adding sugar, adding salt, adding preservatives, adding a whole bunch of stuff. So you wanna be on the lookout for that. Also wanna buy smaller pieces of fruit. I know it can be um, super tempting to pick out that big mango or that big apple because you wanna really get the bang for your buck, but smaller pieces of fruit is where it's at. 
Usually when you're considering buying um, organic fruit or fruits that don't have any preservatives or pesticides, using them in the growing process, those pieces of fruit tend to be, um, tend to be smaller. So make sure that you're choosing your smaller pieces of fruit because those are the fruits that are probably grown with all of that, without all that extra stuff. Now we're moving on to how to store fruits and vegetables. So tip number one, please make sure that you only buy produce when you're ready to use it. And I can definitely say that I have done this a couple of times where I'm just like, yeah, Give me all the tomatoes, give me all the greens, give me all the fruits and veggies. And then I have a really busy day, really, really busy day turns into a really busy week. And I realize that I have not cooked this stuff and it goes bad. So really, really try to only buy those fruits and vegetables when you need to cook them because we don't want anything to be rotten, okay? No rotten stuff, okay? All right, let's move on. The next tip. The next tip is all about leafy greens. And if you know me, you know how much I love my leafy greens. I am a collard green girl all around. So listen up. When it comes to leafy greens, you wanna make sure that you wash your leafy greens and then you wrap them up in a tea towel or a paper towel and you store them in a refrigerator and an airtight, airtight container or in a plastic sealed bag. This will make your greens last a little bit longer. Produce that sits together, ripens together. Do not put your bananas with your potatoes, with your apples, with your oranges, because that will increase the ripening process and we don't want that. Um, I know you see the really nice pictures of fruits and fruits will be in this really nice fruit basket, but in reality, we don't want all our fruit and our produce sitting together. So we really need to make sure that when we have these things out in the countertops, we have them separated. Put your bananas over here, put your apples over here. Fruits that are bruised or damaged ripen faster than fruits that are not bruised and damaged. So if you do buy fruits and vegetables that are bruised and damaged a little bit, right? You know, nobody's walking around with just vegetables that are completely like just smashed and crushed and all that jazz. You wanna make sure that you eat those first because of course those are ripened quicker than the vegetables that are not bruised and damaged. Fruits that Fruits and vegetables that are in plastic will ripen first. And when I want to just emphasize this plastic. So the plastic that I'm talking about is usually the plastic that you get within um, the supermarkets. Those plastic storage bags that you put like your fruits and your greens in, that will ripen a lot quicker. So you don't want to store them in the refrigerator um, in those plastic bags, you want to store them loose because this will also save you some time so they won't go bad so quickly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to keep it short. I want to keep it cute. I hope that it was informative. I hope that you learned something and thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you give this video a like. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment as well. Tell me what you thought about this video. Tell me if you knew, if you learned something new. Tell me if you have any more tips for um, plants and choosing how to incorporate them and um, picking ways to incorporate them into your diet or selecting them in the store or storage tips, anything at all, drop it in the comments because we are all constantly learning from one another and I want this to be a community. Also, hit that bell button if you would like notifications each and every time I post. I post every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Wednesday. I don't know why I didn't just say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's been a long day. But thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye!